What's up guys and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank 3 Up Your Arsenal. In the last episode we made our way through all of the missions and now we're going to be doing something here in this place. I have no idea, but I know, I know you told me just five minutes ago. Alrighty then, so let's uh, break these. This actually sort of reminds me of Jack 3, this sort of area. I guess sort of like the mosaic, I guess? I don't know, like some of the areas in Jack 3 were very... Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, how can I, can I angle this somewhere? I can. Oh, this is like Portal. <laughs> I wonder where they got the idea from Portal. Maybe it was this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> of course, not like the Portal portals, but like there's parts in Portal 2 where you get to refract lasers like this. So that's pretty cool. Okay then, um, hmm. Let's get this out. It looks like we got more to refract over here. What is this little uh, spin wrench area though? Let's try to find this out really quick. It will, oh, it moves this. Oh, I see. So we can like double refract things, I'm assuming. Let's see. Alrighty then, let's get out a refractor then. And then I know I need to start using the, uh, what's it called a lot more? I need to start using the, um, the quick select so I can just do that. But I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right, let's take care of these guys. I think they just actually walk through the lasers and die there, Ben. Right, let's take care of this guy before he sees us. No, we weren't stealthy enough. Darn it, ouch. <laughs> and now we paid the price of our health. Okay, um, hmm, more over here. But it is really weird playing on the PS3 controller again. This is my first time doing so in a long while. So, Ratchet looks so sad when he's so low on HUD. He's like, uh, ow. <laughs> All right, but yeah, it is definitely weird playing on the PS3 controller since I've been playing on the PS4 one for the last few months, ever since I finished my Let's Play of Ratchet 2 in June. I haven't touched the PS3 whatsoever. I turned it off and I haven't turned it back on until now, so. All righty, pull this up here. And then, ooh, it even destroyed the crate for us. Thank you. All right, and then do that and then do that. Cool, I like this, because it isn't like an annoyingly complex puzzle. It doesn't really get in the way of the gameplay or anything like that. It's just sort of fun, which I like. You know, it's hard to get that in some games. Okay, let's get this stuff to get my health back. There we go. So those seem to restore five health, which is really good. Hmm. All right, get this, angle it up here. Wait, oh, what, what, why is it not working? Okay, <laughs> and there you go. Okay, oh, ow. What is going on over here? I do think that when I was younger, yeah, I definitely did. I had a demo of Ratchet 3, um, just thinking about it, because I used to have a, you know, a lot of PlayStation 2 demo discs just because they came in the mail and stuff back when that was a thing. I miss those days a lot where you could just have a catalog of demos to try out what games you'd like to buy next. You don't get that anymore. Instead, you have to look at online reviews and hope you made the right decision. But, um, hmm. Oh, ouch, that was dumb. Uh, nope, that was it. Okay, but yeah, I remember playing this game and thought it was really cool, but I mean, compared to all the other games on the demo disc, it was also like, I wanted all of them. Okay, let's run across here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Okay, this guy's being a butt. Get out of here, butt. There you go. And then what is in here? Looks like we got some health, some ammo, some all the cool stuff. I like it, I like it. Hmm. So we are making our bolts back up pretty quick. There should be a spider symbol somewhere in that room. Use the beam to lead the spider drone over the symbol and then zap it with the laser. Oh, what do you mean? Am I just supposed to do this? Uh, I don't understand. Uh, what happened? So I just need to, are you gonna, oh, you're gonna follow the laser. All right then, no, no, keep going. Keep, keep, keep going, come on, he's like a cat. <laughs> you know, like when you put the little laser on the near the cat and they chase the wall <laughs> or whatever, whatever, however you explain that. Okay, um, hmm, let's do this and then take care of these guys. This is gonna be a lot of experience right here or not at all. Sometimes these little guys gives you like a lot of experience. Sometimes it's very little, it's very weird. Hmm, all right, um, I definitely was getting more experience from them in the mission, so. All right, boom. And then, oh, I took out two of them there by accident. Okay, get this. I don't really care for the health right now, so I'll leave it be. And hmm, what is going on over here? Oh, I see. There are two different spots we need to hit. This is interesting. I like how this is. It's like all of this is really cool. All right, get this back out. And there's no level ups for this, obviously. Whoa, what was that? Something just exploded there. Oh, I guess we're just like, oh, geez, guy's attacking me. Um, get him, get him. Yeah, I got him. All right, so I guess we could break these. Oh, we can, cool. So let's get ourselves a few more bolts here. They give us 25 a piece. <laughs> That's a bargain. I'll take that bargain any day. Absolutely free. 
You can't get any cheaper than that. All right then, there's all the free stuff. Let's go and get this stuff too. Oh no, I see you over there trying to hide from me. Trying to go in for that sneak attack. Look at, look at these guys, they're trying to run across and they all get hit by the beam. Elegance, elegance. Right, that stuff, and now we're good to go. We're making good progress through this though, this is really cool. All right, do this. Hmm, now this is odd. Yeah, okay, wait, did we do that right? I guess we did, so now we need to pull up this and we just have to redirect each one. It's very odd how it, like, it just works that way, you know? Okay, and then do this one, right where we can see it, just like that. It definitely is like easy, which I like. It's like easy in a good way, where it's just easy to control and figure out. Now, can I walk up this? I can't, so we don't have the magnet boots anymore. Either that, or this is just very misleading. Either or, let's see, let's look up there. Um, yeah, definitely we don't have the magnet. That's a bummer. Why don't we? Hell, he looks familiar. Is that a Gadgetron guy? Really? Oh, no way. Ciao. Got the shields up yet? Silence. I am concentrating. What the? That's a Quark Vid comic. Excuse me. It is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. How can you use the city's defense network to play a video game? Simple. I bypass the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogram the graphic subprocessor. Okay. No, no, I mean, it's, uh, uh, Clank, you speak, uh, nerd. It appears you have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible. I ran a recursive check them on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. I don't know what happened to me with a feedback loop. May we borrow this vid comic? Treat it gently. It is a first edition. Perhaps this will help restore Quark's memory. Shield power restored. Okay then, hopefully we got Quark comic issue one. You know what? I remember those from the demo. Are these uh, gonna be like the little platforming sections? Oh man, now I'm really excited. Because if it is, that's actually really cool. So now we're here. This is the beginning of the level over here. So good old Al. <laughs> There to save the day, like why is he even there? I don't even know. <laughs> all right then, so we have a few options here. To, um, We've done all these, I guess we could do them again for further rewards, but we don't need to do that for now, we'll just return to our ship. We're back at the ship, let's try the vid comic. Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. Ooh. Let's go, I'm excited. Whoa, <laughs> Quark head. So they made merchandise for Quark, I guess, like a video game in the Ratchet world or the universe. So this is interesting. These are the real life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian Equinox, the Solana Galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Yes, reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of episode one. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> Booty butts. Okay, then. So, oh, this is so awesome. It's a little quirk plat ah, platformer. Now, I remember when I played this as a kid that it was super tough. So let's see how bad I was at video games. <laughs> Pretty bad. Disclaimer, I was really bad at video games when I was a kid. Quark token. Collect all the tokens in the level to earn a secret prize. All right, bling, then. Bling, bling, baby. The red ones are worth 10 Quark token. Ooh, so let's try to collect all those. We have 15 out of 100 for right now. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. I love little platformers like this. I just, I don't know, it's my favorite genre for sure. Oh geez, rats. <laughs> but I remember being so bad at this and having such a hard time. So I don't know. I honestly was really bad at video games when I was a kid. I probably didn't beat, like actually finish a video game until I was like 10 or 11 at the least. And I had been playing video games my whole life then. Buddy, you get out of here. So it looks like we have like five health here. And then we got these guys. We can beat up the robotic pirate ghosts. All right, get all these guys. Whoa, the platforms are disappearing. I was like, wait, what is happening there? I thought something was popping up. Sort of the opposite. Um, 
let's get this one. Nice, okay. We nearly are out of a hunter here. Whoa, we can wall jump too, that's helpful. The controls are actually really good though. Like it feels nice and good. Okay then, um, ooh, get it, yeah. <laughs> Doing good so far and we're almost to the hunter already. I'm rather surprised. Take care of the rats, take care of you. And then, ooh, big guy, big guy. Ooh, ooh. And then, come on, whoa, the rats are coming in from all over the place here. Um, did they drop any quirk tokens? It doesn't look like it, so we might as well, you know, like ignore them. You sort of move a bit faster if you punch while you move, though. Notice that much. Uh oh. Is this gonna be? A giant robotic space it, it is. Okay, I remember this part too. I remember these annoying snake things and dying to them a lot. <laughs> All right. Um, let's shoot this. So we have a limited amount of ammo for that. So we're gonna be careful there. Um, but we got more of it here. Okay. Um, whoa, can we shoot those guys? We cannot, so we gotta be careful. Uh, boom, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> so I wonder if we're gonna get any bullets for completing this, I would hope so. Ooh, go through that, take care of you, come on. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, get these ones, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is so cool, I love this. All right, take care of him too. I might wanna try to hold on to that for as long as I can. We're about to get a good amount here. Ooh, <laughs> take that. Okay, go back up there. We only need 11 more, so let's see if we hopefully didn't miss any. Ooh, get that guy too. All right, nine more. Oh, okay, whoa. All right, we have two hit points left. I gotta make the most of them here. Ooh, oh geez, take care of him. There you go. It only takes one shot, it looks like, so I gotta keep that in mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that guy didn't come up until a good time. <laughs> or not at a good time, come on. Ooh. All right. Well, where's the jump here? Looks like we've got a moving platform. What, he's doing a split? And he does a split, that, that's not even conventional, Quirk. That's not conventional at all. <laughs> they can do a little dance now. All right, um, are we being timed? We're being timed upwardly. Uh, we have, we've been here for three minutes so far. All right then, so we did get a titanium bolt there for that. That's actually awesome. All right, uh, get all that. And then, oh joy, oh joy. what is that, a three-eyed pirate flag? And what was that? A nice juicy health upgrade. Remember, cadets, there's one in every level. Okay, then looks like we'll have to keep an eye out for that, because now we have full health. Oh boy. Alright, let's pick up this. Now I remember this being a big pain in the booty, but maybe it won't be so bad, because this this hasn't been that bad at all. Yeah, we can tap like super fast too. So let's take take this guy out. <laughs> I'm excited. Here. Ooh, yeah, good, good, good. Whoa, whoa. It's weird, I'm not expecting him to like, you know, like try to hop on the platforms like that. Can we punch him though? Uh, I don't think we can. Let's just wait for another blaster. If one, yeah, there you go, I was gonna say, what if we don't get one? <laughs> then we're in a bad situation. All right then, take him out like that. Yeah, we're, we're blasting through him real good. <laughs> Official, Zebra was bad at video games when he was a kid. And I did punch him there too. Hmm, where is he now, huh? Okay, get that. I see you coming from this way, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay, come on, get this, yeah, good. Whoa, 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 ooh, get him, get him, yes, we beat him, woohoo! <laughs> Let's do our victory dance. <laughs> and there we go, we have won the first Quark Vid comic or something. And nice, we got a good time, we got everything, and ooh, look at this reward, okay then, wow. We're getting a lot of bolts here. There we go, 6,000, I can't complain with that one. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. Pirate, ghost, robots, I mean, what do they think, we're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund. Hey. A charity providing makeovers and Buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. <laughs> Mr. President? Uh, yes, I got the fruit basket, thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, <laughs> who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir, I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, <coughs> right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. Quark is such a sham. <laughs> Will he remember? It brings him back! Whoa, we got a little too close there. Oh, he has all these memories of being a complete jerk. <laughs> all these memories, so many, too many! Ah! Butt pain.
Well, who's that handsome devil? He's it appears back. Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway, <laughs> the device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Ooh, more TV! Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Course! Let's meet tonight's victim! Oops, I mean, contestant! <laughs> oh no. Fred. Yay, Fred, go get him! Fred is a gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a morpho ray go off in his pants! What a champ! Let's take a look at what he's up against! Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! Oh no. That doesn't look fun. Another day, another death course. What, what was that look? I can't tell if that was like unhappiness, disapproving, or I don't know. But either way, there she stands with Quark now. Very interesting. So that was actually a really cool episode with all the cool stuff. I love that platformer. I want to see more of the vid comics, but for now, that's all we have. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point in the video, make sure you comment Zebra Quark so I know you've watched at the end of the video and that you're a Zebra Tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.